So, everybody know uh, Joey Pelofino? Yeah, yeah he's, he teaches here, coaches football, has a 72 Bronco. The Bronco kind of looks like that. Right, it's that old style Bronco. It's out of the parking lot a lot of times. And you just put a three inch lift on it. Okay? So there's a three inch lift on this truck. The problem he came to with me yesterday is here's the engine, you know, here's the transmission, then here's the dry, um, drive shaft coming back to the rear axle. Then there's a pinion gear on that rear axle that attaches to that drive shaft. That pinion gear is supposed to be a straight line to that drive shaft. When you lift up the truck, you increase that angle of the drive shaft. Everybody with me on that? So you increase the angle of that drive shaft. This is fixed on the axle. The way you get them parallel is you take that axle and you rotate it a certain number of degrees. The way you rotate it is there's a shim between the leaf spring and the axle that takes that axle and rolls it forward, and it rolls it forward enough so that pinion is a direct link to the drive shaft. So the first thing he did, he came to me yesterday and he said, what's the angle? Okay. So here's the shim, the existing shim, that goes between the leaf spring and the axle. First thing he wants to know is the angle of this. So what I did was I grabbed my digital calipers, I made sure I was in inches, then I zeroed it. I checked the thickness of this front piece here, and it's 0.133. So then I just need a quick sketch. So you need to sketch this out as well. This thickness right here was 0.133. This is way out of scale. I checked the other side of the trapezoid. I'm gently squeezing it down there. And that's 0.33. This is point three three. Then I need to figure out the length of this. If I use a ruler on here, I'm going to be really inaccurate. Right? I mean, I'm measuring to a thousandth of an inch here, and then here I'm measuring to a sixteenth. My digital caliper won't go long enough, but my dial caliper will. This will go up to six. So I open this up. Using this, I check the length of it, three quarters exactly, and then it's five and three quarters. So it's not as accurate as that digital caliper, but it's a whole lot more accurate than that ruler. So the length of it is 5.75. So how do I figure out the angle? Right? So there's a lot of math here. You could split this trapezoid into a rectangle and a triangle. This is 0 0.133. This is 0 0.133. <coughs> this overall length is 0.33. 333 thou. So this has to be 0.2. I want to find this angle here. If you remember any trig. Tangent of that angle, tangent of theta, is equal to opposite over adjacent. Anybody remember that? And then not only do I use tangent of theta to find that, and I take the arc tan of both sides, and I calculate it, and theta is equal to 2 degrees. So that's how I figured it out. The other way to figure it out, which I only thought of afterwards, which is really cool, is on my smartphone. Joel gave me this the other day. Uh, I have a clinometer on there, and that clinometer measures angles. And it's accurate, I think, to the tenth place. And then, before measuring the angle of this, I really need to measure the angle of my tabletop. So if I figure out the angle of the tabletop is 89 degrees, I hold it up on there, and it's Oh, it's pretty inaccurate. <coughs> this has it at 88 degrees. So I could use a clinometer, but I'm nowhere near as accurate as I am using the, the digital calipers and the um, math. 
Any questions on any of that? Okay, so then what you need to have done by the end of class today is you need to draw this in Autodesk Inventor. You need any other measurements? <coughs> width. So this width going back is 2, um, 6, 8, seven, eight. Oh, wait, you know, I could use my digital caliper for this one. <coughs> so going back is 2.83. <coughs> so my depth here, going back this way, my depth is 2.83. center of the hole. So these holes are centered on this center line. And then this center line here, going this way. Can I put it on that drawing or should I do it on a different drawing? Uh, do it on a different drawing, please. Right. So this is going to be, what view is this? What view is that? This is my front view. This is my top view. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to create this view right here as a front view. This right here is my top view. Right, this is my sketch before I throw it into an inventor. I have this little hole here. I have this hole here. They are centered across this way. And I'm going to have this little cutout and this little cutout. These are centered right there and there. Okay, and then I'm going to take this sketch. All right, and then here's my right side view. Very kind with me on that. Yeah. Okay, it's not a pretty sketch. But it's going to have enough information on it so I can draw it even better. So then, this dimension to the center of the hole is 1.8. So from the center of the hole to here is 1.8. Diameter of that hole. I'm going to use my calipers backwards this time. But I'm using this side to check the inside diameter is 0.5. This one's 0.85. So this diameter is 0.5. This diameter of this hole is 0.85. The diameter of that cutout, we'll call that a semicircle. 0.6. I'm going to go 0.6 diameter times 2. What does that times 2 mean? Yeah, the other one's the same dimension. That's right. So what else I need here? Um, how far between the second circle and the smaller circle? Oh, yeah, we can do it that way. Find that dimension. to the center of these cutouts to 1.4. That's from here to here. There's a lot of information here, a ton of math. So the goal now is copy these sketches down. I'll leave it on the board. Don't work off the board. You need to sketch first, but you need to draw this in the inventor. And then the next step, wait a sec, don't go yet, to draw. The next step is the three inch lift this is the existing sim. We're going to recreate the new sim, taking into account that three inches of vertical lift. This is a good project here. Especially since I just got it yesterday. Right. Any questions on this? Okay, great.